Our king is protecting our queen. She said, you know what? The man of my dreams that I'm going to marry. Thank you. He's the best. How are you doing? Hey, how you doing? He's the king of her heart is the prevailing sentiment with fans and Swifties. He's a hugger. He's a door opener. He's a fucking hand holder. And this from what Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey has publicly shown us so far. However, we're getting some inside scoop from a source on how Taylor actually feels about the new man in her life. So word on the street is that Taylor Swift is reportedly falling in love with rumored boyfriend Travis Kelsey more than a month after they went public with their romance. Taylor is blown away right now and her family is all about Travis. A source close to the singer's pal Blake Lively told the Daily Mail Thursday, she is trying to keep it together but is obviously falling in love with him and he feels the same way. The insider added that the Kansas City Chiefs star courted Swift in a different way other than her typical, hey, you're hot, let's go out sort of thing. He actually courted her and she feels like she is the luckiest gal in the world right now. It is no coincidence that all she had to do was look outside of Hollywood. The source said that though the Grammy winner's parents, Scott and Andrea Swift, were super harsh critics about their daughter's love life, but they are fully supportive of her budding romance with Kelsey. All that they ever want is for Taylor to be with someone who keeps her safe and who loves her for her, the insider explained. The source added, Travis is a gentleman, and although it is maybe too soon to say, everyone really feels like she has finally met her match. Taylor, 33, and Kelsey, 34, first sparked dating rumors in September when The Messenger reported that they had been quietly hanging out. Well, that set the internet ablaze with excitement and speculation. Travis was seen wearing a vigilante shit friendship bracelet days after hanging with Taylor. And here's a close up. Another reason why he should be the one. The power couple then made their romance public when the blank space singer attended the two-time Super Bowl champions football game against the Chicago Bears. The pair left the game together and headed out in Travis's vintage convertible or their getaway car as it's jokingly referred to now. After the Chiefs win, the pair got cozy at an after party at Prime Social in Kansas City. At one point, Taylor put her arm around Kelsey. Earlier this month, Kelsey and Taylor stepped out together in NYC holding hands. The duo went to Nobu on Saturday night and the Waverly Inn in Manhattan on Sunday after separately making a surprise appearance on Saturday Night Live. The new couple has been spending a lot of time together, and that's been helped out by Taylor being on break from the Eras tour, but she's about to jump on the international leg of the tour in early November. So how will they fare with the separation? Well, there's no need to fret, because the tight end is reportedly planning on attending one of Taylor's Eras tour stops internationally. His team has a bye week the day her tour resumes in Argentina on November 9th. With all the media storm that's been stirred up, Travis felt his current home in Kansas City was too accessible to the public, and especially the paparazzi that's been reportedly lurking outside his home waiting to snap away. And so it's been confirmed that Kelsey has purchased a $6 million mansion in Kansas City so that he and the pop star could have more privacy. The luxury accommodation boasts over 16,000 square feet of living space and a pool with a waterfall, in addition to a tennis and pickleball court and mini golf course. But most importantly, it offers more seclusion and privacy than his current house. Because you see, Travis is all about being Taylor's protector, as he clearly displayed that over the weekend in New York. You can see how he helps her out of the car and even moves his security off so he could escort her. They walked hand in hand through all the horde of crazed fans and paparazzi. Now, even though Travis plays offensive on the football field, he's been all defense when it comes to protecting Taylor. So purchasing his new home is an extension of him being the protector. And who can blame him? It's a crazy life for this new couple. No matter what they do, they will be gawked at. Another sign of him being Taylor's protector is the way he holds her hand. And there's been some funny comments recently about this. Fans are saying it was his protective nature kicking in, dropping comments like, he does it when he needs to use the other hand, he switches hands so he doesn't let go of her hands. Another fan wrote, his job is football. It's all he knows. One Twitter user said, I'm obsessed with this. My standards have risen must be held and protected like a football. He's a hugger, he's a door opener, he's a fucking hand holder, he crushed it. <laughs> I have seen guys, that's three points of contact. That is not, that's football, that's Oh gosh. Yeah, they, uh, they caught me with hand holding uh, poses there, that was crazy.
And Taylor wants to show her dedication in supporting Travis that according to an anonymous tip from gossip site Dumoy, it appears that Swift has taken her fandom to the next level by allegedly purchasing her own suite at Arrowhead Stadium for the remainder of the 2023 season. The rumors have sent fans into a frenzy, with many expressing excitement over the prospect of seeing Swift at more games. She's attended all but one of his games this season. So how have you guys been taking in all this Taylor and Travis mania? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos.